update. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here. This is the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. And what we're looking at is the Dow is down 175. I think Caterpillar really has a lot to do with yeah, the other stocks as well. But Cat Caterpillar is down very sharply. Uh, earnings disappointment, 174 down in the Dow, 32,625. We were waiting for this peak D. This is the objective in the Chapman Wave methodology to get you to that fourth highest peak and then other things kick in. The S&P is at peak C if there's no new high today. Um, it's holding very well. It's only down 79 99 cents at 41.17. You're looking at the QQQ, which has got a leg D, probably a peak D today. 316.39 was the high yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think I updated that. That was 318.81 yesterday. And at 315, not too bad. It's holding very nicely. Still up 30 cents. This is one of my favorite uh, sectors over the last couple of weeks. Um, subscribe to my opening call all along. We're looking at IWM. The Russell 2000 up 28 cents at 187.49, holding very nicely. Uh, the weekly chart is starting to improve. It's going to be important that the Russell, that you want to see the 2000 the small caps start to find some really good support, maybe even some leadership action if they can start to follow the cues, if the cues keep holding okay. Gold, talking about holding, gold is up seven at 17.94. Leg B hit the 50 period exponential moving average. I'll be teaching about these moving averages when I do my webinar, all day webinar a week from tomorrow. We're looking at that resistance level coming in at 18.05, but there's really good support in the 17.80 area. Looking at uh, crude oil, crude oil had a good move uh, up and then it took two days to come right back down to the 93s. It's still holding okay, but this is an H pattern. We've got to watch out that it doesn't take out 92 support. Looking at uh, the TLT, TLT made a new leg up today in leg E. Um, so that just tells us that yields are coming down and that has helped some areas. In fact, it's even helped the HGX, which is the uh, Philadelphia housing. Uh, that is the Philadelphia Housing Index, Sector Index. And what we're looking at is trading at, let me see if I can just update that. Yes, trading at 409, just underneath the 421, 200-period uh, moving average resistance yesterday. And that is, in fact, the leg F to the upside. And I just wanted to say that the dollar right now, if I can get to it, the dollar was holding okay when I last looked, but it has been digesting gains. Yes, it's up a little bit today. Um, and we'll see. Maybe the dollar has a little bit of a bounce and gold pulls back a tad. I'll be doing the next hour. This is Larry Pizzaventa's hour, but he's unable to do it, and I'll be sitting in for that hour. I'll see you in a few minutes, and check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. See you 